basically what we have here is the uh, Cisco Secure uh, AnyConnect uh, mobility client. So we actually have our uh, client that actually is uh, it's downloaded to the endpoint. So we have a remote client that will fit on the iPad, uh, iPhone, remote device. And what we actually have over here is we have our uh, remote client that basically provides uh, layer two, layer two connectivity as well as uh, remote access connectivity. So for this specific demo that we have, we actually have our AnyConnect client that's downloaded on the endpoint, and we're highlighting uh, 802.1x, which is our uh, uh, layer two connection, trusted network connection. So what we have is we're actually on the corporate network. I'm now going to authenticate to the corporate network. So since we're on the corporate network, what we're doing is we're actually going to uh, securely connect via layer 2, 802.1x, and what you should see is that we're not going to be requiring the uh, VPN or remote connection, but we are going to connect via 802.1x that you're seeing right there. And notice that uh, the web security component, uh, we're on a trusted network, so what we're doing is now we're connected via corporate, and we're connected on the back end side through the, uh, we are offer protection by the WSA. So if I basically click on my browser, I have access to my uh, intranet homepage. However, if I click on Facebook and access a uh, malicious URL, right, notice that we're actually blocked by, uh, by the web security device. Right, so notice that um, we have our policies that are set up to, for our corporate acceptable usage policies. Um, so we have this basically uh, also protecting from uh, malicious content. Uh, scanning also takes place on the back end side on the, uh, on the web shield appliance. So we're actually protected when we're on the corporate network through 802.1x. We have a secure connection. So what happens if we're now outside the corporate environment or at Starbucks or a public hotspot? So I'm just going to go ahead and simulate that connection there. So what should happen here is that once I authenticate, I will find the IP address. But now, since we're outside that corporate environment, we're still going to be protected, except we're going to be protected through ScanSafe. Right, so essentially what we're doing is we have this web security module that gets downloaded as part of the client policy. Uh, and based off of that client policy, this will basically refer to the closest scan safe tower. So this basically means that the, uh, the traffic is not going to be back back to corporate. We're going to go to the uh, nearest tower for web-based protection. So you should see that come up in a moment. Right now, a lot of latency issues, but uh, and eventually it will be connected. I think it was just connected. All right, so here we are, we're actually enabled. Uh, we're actually connected via VPN, right to corporate, uh, remote connection. Now if I go into our internet homepage, you can access the homepage, and if I go to Facebook, and I click on the malicious URL, we notice that we're now protected by ScanSafe. Okay, so the main difference here is that if we're connecting to corporate, uh, we're not going to be connected to remote access. We're going to be protected via 802.1x uh, secure uh, layer two connection. And on the back end side, we're going to be uh, we're going to be protected by the WSA, which offers protection from web-based threats. Uh, this is on premises for management, whereas ScanSafe will protect remote users from um, from from these types of web-based threats. And from in a public hotspot. So that's basically basically it. Great. Thank you. Thanks.